We're only about a month before the midterm elections, and candidate Michelle Bachman of Minnesota is separating herself from Washington's spending programs, all of them from both sides of the aisle. Watch the ad. Government spending doesn't create good jobs. That's why I fought and voted against the Bush Wall Street bailout, the failed Pelosi trillion dollar stimulus, and Obama's government takeover of health care. It's small business owners who know we need to get government out of the way. Congress can help by cutting government spending, lowering taxes, and reducing unnecessary regulations. I'm Michelle Bachman, and I approve this message. Together we can get our economy moving forward again. So why is she distancing herself from the spending programs of both this administration and the last one? Representative Michelle Bachman, Republican from Minnesota, joins us now. And I'd like you to respond to that question, Congresswoman, because it seems like you're really trying to say that you were not on board with the previous president. Well, I wasn't on board with the TARP program. I was going across the aisle, both Republicans and Democrats, urging them not to get behind the failed uh, the $700 billion uh, bailout, because remember, after all, that's the program that allowed the federal government to purchase GM and Chrysler and purchase Citibank, Bank of America, AIG, all of those uh, private businesses that today the federal government still continues to own, and the American people want the federal government to get out of running private companies. Of course, Congressman, I know what's going to happen. Your opponent, you know it as well. I'm sure you're playing for it already. He's going to come up with these pictures of you hugging President Bush, saying he's, he's uh, my favorite president and I love the guy, et cetera. And they're going to say you're a hypocrite as a, ba as, as a basis of an attack. Are you prepared for that? Well, sure, because I, I don't think anyone agrees with all the policy positions of any president of whatever party. And I certainly was very vocal at the time that I was not a proponent of the TARP program, nor did, was I a proponent of the trillion dollar stimulus program that was a failure, or am I a proponent of the government takeover of health care. I opposed all of those big spending measures, and I think most of America agrees with me on that as well. They oppose those measures too. They want Congress to stop the out of control spending. They want to keep taxes low. As a matter of fact, they'd like to have us cut them even more than they are now because we simply aren't getting jobs created with this sort of failed policies. Congressman, let me ask you this. President Clinton came out and made some frankly disparaging remarks about the Tea Party. Uh, do you think that maybe the Democrats still don't get it, that there's a lot of folks out there that are upset about spending and upset about the direction of the country? I think you're exactly right, Cheryl. I don't think they do get it. I mean, after all, Congress adjourned late last night. They're, they've left Washington, D.C. now, and they went home knowing that every American who pays taxes will see a dramatic increase in their taxes. That's making Americans mad all over this country. So, no, I don't think the Democrats get it at all, unfortunately. I certainly don't think that Leader Harry Reid gets it or Speaker Pelosi, because just just remember, they have let everyone go home knowing full well that everyone Everyone that pays taxes in this country will see a dramatic increase and in hike up in those taxes, which means fewer jobs will be created. I say that as a small business owner. My husband and I employ about 50 people in our small business. If business people can't keep the profits in their business, they simply can't grow jobs. That's what we need to do is grow jobs. And unfortunately, the Democrat policy is a failed policy, and I'm sorry that uh, former President Clinton doesn't doesn't seem to appreciate that the American people right now are rejecting the policies of Pelosi, Reid, and Obama. Here's, here's what he said, by the way. For the past 30 years, they've been telling us that government is the problem and the destruction of government is the solution, he said about the Tea Partiers. I now think they've gotten to the point where they actually believe it. So again, disparaging the idea. He, this is the guy, after all, who said the era of big government is dead, by the way. Remember that? So apparently he's going back in what he originally well, and, said. And David, and David, excuse me, if I, if I could say, President Clinton said that Tea Partiers want the destruction of government. Right. That's a false statement because tea, no Tea Partier has said the end of government and anarchy should rule. All they're saying is Congress, act within the constitutional limitations you've been given. Don't spend more money than you take in. And we're paying enough taxes already. That's a pretty mainstream message. Sure and, the, and President Clinton is saying that's the most dangerous group in America right now, the Tea Partiers. Well, I think there's going to be a comeuppance in about 33 or 34 days at the polls. We've well, Representative Michelle Bachman, Republican from Minnesota. Thank you, Congresswoman. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right.